So welcome uh, to another segment of God Squad TV. Uh, today we are at our annual God Squad conference here in Calgary. We're at St. Albert the Great. And we have John Voss, who's been attending for as long as I can remember. He thinks he might have missed one year, but uh, what I'd like, John, is can you share with us what keeps you coming back and some of the experiences that you've had over the years? Uh, Sean, it's mostly about uh, being together with like-minded men. You look around this conference and it's all men. And there's something really masculine about it. There's something that uh, really, w when, we, when we sing together, when we pray together, it's about being together with brothers in Christ. And you know you can get that, but it's really unique, and that's what always draws me back. Is that I'm with all these guys. Yeah, I like women a lot, but <laughs> I've got seven kids, so uh, it, it's far better when you're in this sort of environment where you're you're just with the men of faith, and we're all facing the same things. That's what I like about it. We're we're encountering the same challenges, the difficulties, and you you can compare notes. And the speakers, of course, you. You talk about people that uh, cast such a large shadow, guys like Cavens and Pierce and uh, Woods. All of them are just so marvelous, and they're very spot on. They're, they're talking about the things that men are dealing with, the challenges that men see day in, day out, because they're there. And so there's, it's easy to compare notes. So, John, you're a director of a news organization, so you get to see the day-to-day news every day so you know what's going on in the world and do you find that it's it's difficult because you you know some of the answers aren't that hard because our speakers are like you say spot on uh, does it help you deal with that that end of your spectrum or that part of your life yeah, you know, it, it's, it's what's been so uh, rewarding is that I, I can take these, the insights back from uh, a conference like this and um, you, you can move them into the secular world so simply uh, because it's, it's largely about how we're treating other people. It's largely about how we choose to be an example. I don't have to march into my newsroom and say, hey, I'm a disciple of Christ. I don't. But it's how I behave and how I act. And I, don't, I, I can't grow those tools. I, I have some of them because I'm you know, a good Catholic boy from a Catholic family. I have some of that tradition. But I need sort of that, the external inputs, like, like this, like this conference, like the work that the God Squad does that uh, gives me some tools that I can take back. And, and I don't mean to demean it, but to make it uh, appreciative or something that people outside of a religion can understand. It's just being the face of Christ. They may not even see it. They may not even say, hey, boy, that guy's really like Jesus. And uh, uh, admittedly, I, I fail a lot, but still, all do. yeah, still, uh, it gives me those tools. Thanks, John. Uh, thanks very much for sharing with us. And, uh, and your, the approach is much the same I take because it's hard to go out. Uh, with a Bible under your arm as a police officer, you, some people might look at you a little different, but I've taken the approach of the, the St. Francis, preach the gospel always, and if necessary, use words. And uh, so many of these people hunger for that, that truth. So I want to thank you for continuing to support God Squad Canada in the work we're doing. Uh, keep being that light to the world that you are, and... Uh, Congratulations on Father of Seven. Yeah. <laughs>